HTML blocks. An HTML block is a customizable block allowing you to add images, texts, links, or even embedded code or widgets to blocks at the side of your course. You can add more than one block, as you see here, where we have, for example, an image of the Arc de Triomphe, which links to the website of Paris Tourism. We have a support email link. And we have the Twitter timeline of the official Tour de France Twitter account. To add a block, we turn the editing on either by clicking the button top right or in the administration block, clicking the link Turn Editing On. And then from the block drop down, we choose HTML block. Let's add an image and link to that image. When the block is added, we need to configure the new HTML block. And so we give it a title, I'm going to call it Paris. And then in the content, we add the image we want. I already have a public domain image of the Arc de Triomphe, and I'm simply going to drag it in from my desktop. Note the text editor I am using is Moodle's Atto editor. If you're using a different editor, such as TinyMCE, you won't be able to drag and drop your image in. You can check this from your user menu. We could simply save it now, but we're going to link this image to a Paris tourism website. So if we go up to the browser address bar, where we have the Paris tourism website in another tab, we can select copy the URL and then Go back to our image, click and select it, and then click the chain or link icon to paste in the URL. I'm going to select to open in a new window or tab. We can then, if we want to, decide where the block appears, whether to make it visible on this page, and when we save the changes, we'll have the image linked to a website in a side block. And that is how you add HTML blocks. But optionally, if you would like to try something more challenging, you don't have to, but let's try adding the Tour de France Twitter account timeline. So I'm going to add the title, and for this we need to expand the editor and click on the HTML code link because we're going to embed some code from Twitter. So again, we go up to the browser address bar and go to the Tour de France official Twitter account. We need to be logged into Twitter to be able to see the configure icon. And one of the options you'll see there says embed this profile. When we click it, we can choose embedded timeline and we simply copy this code and then return to our HTML block and paste the code in. It doesn't matter if we don't know what it actually means. If we click the code icon again, we'll see that there's text there, but when we save the changes, uh, we go back to our course page, we see that the Tour de France account Twitter timeline has embedded and we can also see our image with a link to the Paris Tourism website.